Are we not saving every at the end of the day? Like, that seems weird to me. Hmm. Lily, let's go to the Bureau. We need to pay Elaine a visit. If I go back in time now, I should be able to stop him. Right. I can use their gun to access the past and stop Ash from killing them. I found the energy pack. That's the only chance I'm going to get. It's like we're gonna change the past. He will still be guilty? Great job, Hal. That was a very compelling reconstruction. Give me the gun. By the way, I was planning on giving you this once the case was all wrapped up. Here, take it. It's information about the victim. Uh, okay. Yeah, we know she was a researcher. She was a researcher that disappeared from the city 12 years ago? Indeed. Miss Irie Clover. It seems she was Professor Rumford's research assistant. Very capable, by all accounts. Director General, I have a favor to ask. Could you show me your weapon? It's gonna, like, destroy the game. <laughs> What's got you so interested in that old thing? Still, I made a promise. Here you go. Twelve years ago, researchers had special permission to carry weapons like this. Control bracelets didn't exist yet. Guns were a last resort in case variants got out of control. Apparently, researchers were even given firearms training. Hmm. The energy reserves are empty. It's totally safe to carry around. Bring it back once you're done, okay? <laughs> done with what? Understood. I couldn't do anything back then, but now I know where she keeps the energy pack hidden. I ought to be able to change the past. If I go back to the point before she was shot and shoot Ash in the hotel room instead... Oh, I mean... I might be able to save her and stop the culprit at the same time. Damn. <laughs> I know, Lily. Anyway, I'm gonna go. This seems like a way more important decision than the previous time. <laughs> hmm. It's pretty big. <laughs> It. I knew I shouldn't have trusted them. I can't believe they'd steal the key and take off like that. Was that what they were after all this time? I need to get it back ASAP. Huh? The hell? I was not expecting that. That's not Ash. So it was Maya who shot her? Ah! Cecilia, so you're looking for the key too. But who's pulling your strings? I need to get to the bottom of this. Huh. I mean... It makes sense, but... Where... Am I? What do we know, but why? Wait, is this the parlor in the professor's house? When I changed the past, did I end up changing what happened in the present? Oh yes, big time. <laughs> huh? I have a feeling I know who might have the clock tower key. You saw that girl in the lab coat too, right? Let's go look for her. Look! There's Ash! I wonder where he's heading. How about taking after him? No. We need to...
need to focus on finding the key. Ah! Cecilia, so you're looking for the key too. But who's pulling your strings? I need to get to the bottom of this. Oh, it's you. Did you follow me here or something? What are you doing to Maya? Don't get any weird ideas, Missy! Maya's inside there! Huh? Maya? You're talking about Maya Gannett? The variant? What happened to her? I see. So, Maya's been asleep ever since the professor's experiment three years ago. And for some reason, her consciousness is trapped inside Cecilia? I've got some good news for you. Once the analysis is complete, you should be able to figure out whether the marionette killed the prof or not. Does it matter at this point? And if they didn't, you'll have the evidence to prove it. Really? Yep. So leave me to it, okay? Oh, and do me a favor, would you? Head upstairs and keep a lookout. Hmm. I'll let you know when I'm done. There's so much to process. It was Cestelia who attacked that person at the hotel. They caught Cestelia, and then... No. How? Maya's disappeared. <laughs> she must have gone while I was asleep. Hmm. No, it's okay. We're at the professor's house. Once she's calmed down a little, I'll bring her home. Will you keep an eye on her? Of course. Where did Lily get to? I knew it's gonna get messy. <laughs> Help! Al, did you get plenty of sleep? Huh? I was asleep. You've been on the go constantly. I thought I'd leave you to it. Don't worry, I was keeping watch for you. Okay. Anything new? Oh, it's you. I'm getting bored waiting for the analysis to finish. Wanna chat? I mean, we changed the story already. It's not like we can reverse it. Or can we? Like, <laughs> there's just so much. What were you doing with the clock tower key? Hmm, wait. So you're looking for it too? It isn't here. That scumbag stole it. Okay, so still Ash has something to do it. That scumbag. I'm guessing she means Ash. Why your access has been denied? <laughs> Anything else? Oh yeah, about the mother. But we don't have that option. It seems like the professor predicted all of this from the start. He asked someone to take the key to the top of the clock tower once it started up again. Were you the person he was talking to three years ago? Nope. I wasn't even in the city back then, and I hadn't been for a real long time. Twelve whole years to be precise. Do you have any idea who could have been cooperating with him? Now that you mention it, I do. I mean, I can't say for certain. Either Ash or Elaine. Who was it? How about figuring it out for yourself? <laughs> cool. Thanks for help. Anything else? Do you have any idea where Ash is? If I did, I'd already caught him. He was running towards the... the metro or whatever. 
And then it would be Prof's house. Is he hiding or something? He was playing at being a spy for the other cities, wasn't he? So maybe it's someone from the outside who's after the key. <sighs> Keith, I mean... What would the other cities want with the clock tower control key? Uh, maybe they think the tower is some kind of weapon or something? What you guys call the nightfall catastrophe. The particle contamination 12 years ago sent the clock tower haywire and caused the disaster. The eastern desert got hit the hardest back then. I don't think anyone outside made the connection to the experiments here in the city. But if they did find out somehow, it's no wonder they'd see the clock tower as a threat. Hmm. Either way, an outsider wouldn't be able to control it even if they wanted to. Okay. Only you variants are capable of that. So, it started. Does that mean Cecilia did it? That's the only explanation. Which is why the professor and I built the marionette. Cause not no. There are only three variants in the city. <laughs> How did you get into the city? If you really want to know, I'll tell you. I don't think you'll believe me though. Time travel. 12 years ago, an experiment took place here in the city. An experiment to fuse people's dreams with reality. It was a failure. The subject ran rampant. I took the key from the top floor of the clock tower to try and stop them. And the moment I did, I jumped forward 12 years. Wait, you traveled through time? That would be correct. On the day of the experiment, there was a complete temporal breakdown. Anything could have happened. Anyway, because I had the key with me when I time traveled, the clock tower got shut off. But since I arrived three days ago, it started up again. Hmm. I think the professor knew I'd return to the clock tower one day. Which explains why he left me that message. To kill me? You know, the one telling me to go to the underground lab in his house? I don't get the impression she's lying to me. I mean, at this point... <laughs> no good, huh? Hmm? What's the problem? I've tried a bunch of times, but I just can't crack the final security layer. What do you mean, final security layer? It's a new music. For some reason, the prof decided to install a cutting-edge authentication system in Cecilia. We need to dive into their personality substrate somehow, and complete the unlock symbol in the virtual memory space of whoever is connected. Aha, that's it. I'm literally a genius. You go. I'll stay here and support you. Huh? It looks like the professor tried connecting you with Cecilia three years ago. I'll just go ahead and restore that state. Okay? Right. Let's get started. Biometric authentication. Irie Clover, QI Research Institute, Senior Researcher. I'm ready. Take a good look. This is the unlock symbol, okay? Um... Okay, it looks like the door. It ought to be in there somewhere. You good to go? Hmm. So this is Estelia's final security layer. 